For the first time in the history of Kenya, the 2022 Jamhuri Day celebrations was quite unique. Unlike the other commemorations where politics took the center stage, this year's celebrations was technology-themed with tech gurus from firms like Meta, MultiChoice, Google and YouTube, Microsoft, Mastermind and Visa gracing the event, which happened after successful Kenya Innovation Weeks. <laughs> Speaking during the celebrations at Nyayo Stadium in Nairobi, where this year's theme was Connect, Innovate and Inspire, President William Ruto stated that his government targets to create 1 million jobs from the technology space, at the same time noting that 85% of the remaining government services will be digitized in the next six months. As we deliver our universal health coverage, our tech community is going to be the space for e-health and therefore our universal health coverage is going to be provided on a digital uh, backbone and ensure that all health records are made portable courtesy of technology because that is the intention of our administration going into the future. And let me say that if there was any doubt in anybody's mind about the power of technology, just look at what has happened to the Hustler Fund. The creative economy in the country is one that is really picking up. And for the content creators to make a cut out of their creativity, the head of state stated that his administration is exploring ways of making the benefits of monetization of online activity available to Kenyan content creators on more platforms. My administration, in that context, will work with all our tech community to ensure that we actualize the monetization that will ensure that these young people get royalties and money for what they are doing in the tech space. President William Ruto praised a team from St. Paul's University that won global recognition for the innovation of biodegradable sanitary pads using banana fiber, at the same time also recognizing Nelly Choboit, the founder of TechLit Africa, who was named CNN Hero of the Year on Monday. The most consequential breakthroughs in technological innovation have greatly enhanced human well-being. Among the innovation Week's champions are the winners of 2022 Halt Prize, Echo Banner, from St. Paul's University, who employed the concept of green and circular economy to produce biodegradable sanitary pads from banana fiber. I have asked the Ministry of Education, in recognition of their innovation, to work with these young innovators on the delivery of our commitment to provide sanitary pads for schools in Kenya. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, who was in attendance, stated that Kenya has made considerable progress in tech, with the youthful generation making the country proud in the tech space. As a departure from the past, where tech economy was a mirage, poverty, illiteracy and disease was our common denominator. These three enemies made majority of Kenyans slip into a life of great indignity. Your Excellency, today Kenya has made a considerable progress in the tech race. We celebrate our young people who have continued to make us proud in this space. Unlike the other Jamuhuri Day celebrations, which mainly compromised our political speeches, the 2022 Jamuhuri Day celebrations was quite unique, as it mainly focused on tech and innovation, with the President William Ruto reiterating that technology will drive the Kenyan economy moving forward. Kennedy Kimani, Hope TV Newswatch, at the Nyayo National Stadium, Nairobi.